Here are a series of slides on starfish development. The first slide is called Starfish Early Cleavage. I've got the mechanical stage as high as it'll go. I'm using the course adjustment knob to bring it into focus, whatever's on there. And I'm looking for, oh, there we go. So starfish early cleavage. So cleavage is the division that occurs uh, in uh, the course of the early development of the embryo. So switching out of the 10x objective to, sorry, the 4x objective to the 10x objective, you can see we've got uh, uh, either an unfertilized egg or a zygote that hasn't divided yet. We have the two cell stage, and then we've got a bunch of other stages. Okay, so we're not going to emphasize this slide too much because there's so much on there. So removing it, we're now switching into place or putting into place the two-cell stage. You can see the specimens are in different locations. Okay, so this is under the, still under the 10x objective. It's more or less still in focus. We're going to pull that out and actually... That's, I think, little streaks of oil that are on the slide. Pop that into place again. Yeah, look at that. Nothing like cleaning the slide. So the two-cell stage. So this is simply post-mitotic division of the zygote. And we'll switch to the 40x objective. There we go. Oops. So the two-cell stage of embryonic development, starfish two cells, is what the slide is called. Now we're switching into place starfish eight cells. Very quickly, see if we get lucky, and we have gotten lucky. Look at that. I didn't change the focus or anything. So eight cells. So you can see four cells on top, ah, and four cells on the bottom. Doesn't get any better than that. Starfish eight cells. So uh, we go. We went through. Um, three rounds of cleavage. One times two is two, two times two is four, and four times two is eight. So we're removing that and we're switching into place 16 cells. Not changing the focus at all. And look at that, we're getting lucky again. Well, not perfectly lucky. Okay, so these, this slide, so this slide is starfish 16 cells. This slide I have a little bit of difficulty with because I don't think everything is in the same stage. There we go. So that's pretty much 16 cells. You can kind of see maybe six or eight on top and maybe eight on underneath it. That one you can't tell at all. Okay, we're going to switch down to the 10x objective here get a better sense of what's sitting out there. Looking for something that's clearly 16 cells. I'm just trying to kind of go through here and see what's there. Okay, we're gonna center on that one. Okay, putting into place the 40x objective. Does that look like 16 cells? Yeah, arguably you've got eight-ish on top and then eight-ish on the bottom. So roughly 16 cells. As you get more cells, it's difficult to see exactly what's going on. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the 16 cell stage. We're gonna add the 32 cell stage. Once again, see if we get lucky. Doesn't look like we're going to, so we're going to switch back to the 10x objective. See if we get lucky. There we go. So 32 cell stage. At this stage, I'm going to go down to the, 8, uh, the 4x objective. At this stage, it's really difficult to count the cells. There's just so many cells there. Let's get those two centered. So we're at 4x. I'm going to switch over to 10x. Get them into focus. They look mostly centered. Switch over to 40x. And we're not going to quite be able to get both of them on here. So looking at this one, so remember these are three-dimensional and they're kind of thick. 
So those are the cells that are on one side. Heading through them, we see more cells, more cells, and cells that are on the other side. We can look at this one, and we see more or less the same. So arguably, that's 32 uh, cells. The slide says starfish, 32 cells. This one looks very similar to the one we were just looking at. So starfish, 32 cells. Okay, pulling that one out. Let's see if we get lucky again. Now we're looking at uh, starfish gastrula. So the process of gastrulation is the formation of the primitive gut. And uh, we got lucky, so we're still at the uh, 40x objective. And you can see that we have various stages of invagination that we're seeing here from very early to somewhat later to even later. So that's the formation of the archenteron, the primitive gut. It only has one opening. We'll focus on that one. Isn't that pretty? So that's the, the primitive gut that you're looking at there, starfish gastrula. So that's a gastrula. That's the uh, name of the stage. And gastrulation is how you get there. And it's the arc enteron that's been uh, formed. Now, looking right here, I'm not sure, sure quite how I did that, but that's the one we want to look at. So this is, uh, this slide's called early, starfish early bipinaria. So these are larvae. So these guys um, already have a complete gut with both a mouth and an anus. And so heading through the focus, um, uh, focusing in on various parts of the uh, larva, uh, you can see, or at least get the impression that we're looking at something that has more than one opening to its gut. So the one opening is found on the top, and the other opening is found there on the right-hand side. So starfish bipinaria larvae. So this is already a free-living organism. It's no longer an embryo. It's not an adult, uh, but it's on its way to becoming adult. And you'll notice that there's no sign of five arms on this thing. So uh, starfish um, are, are um, bilaterally symmetrical as uh, larvae, and uh, the uh, uh, the um, radial symmetry uh, with the uh, five arms is only something that you see in the adults.